Uh, so you guys are kick things off uh, this week? Yes, finally. We go to Sacramento on Saturday, Sac Invite, and Davis Invitational on Sunday. Uh, if I remember last year, wasn't the, the weather an issue, kind of like it was like a theme like last year? You know, we're hoping that, um, you know, the weather won't continue to be a theme. The men raced last weekend in Sacramento, and there were, it was quite a theme. The, you know, there, I think there's some pretty good rain in the forecast. We know the flow is high enough that there won't be any lane lines in. Uh, it's a floating start, so I know last week races were a little faster uh, to go with the flow. Um, you know, rain's in the forecast this week. It looks a lot like Humboldt is this week, so, you know, I don't think we're afraid of the weather. Have, have you, uh, <coughs> sorry, I apologize. Um, have what, have, have, like the weather's been here in Humboldt County, like, has that impacted your guys' preparation? For sure, we've been um, in the last month off the water for over three weeks. And, um, you know, there's that part of uh, going into the gymnasium every day doesn't have the same feel uh, in hopes of trying to keep everybody healthy. So, you know, when the temperatures drop pretty low, we still see a lot of the team um, is very sick right now, has that hacking cough, and there's a, a GI flu that's going through the team as well. So, you know, I think we're at about 50% and only have room to improve from here. What do you expect uh, from the squad? And every year, obviously, you're going to lose uh, rowers to graduation and, uh, and come and go, but what, what do you expect from uh, the squad? You know, I think what our hope for this year is to be um, competitively faster than we were at this time last season. And this is a hard part of, I think we've talked about this before, being on a body of water that's constantly moving you really have no idea what your speed is until you actually get somewhere where the water's not moving. It'll be moving in Sacramento, so, um, but but that's an issue because there are times where uh, you think you're fast and then you, you get into competition. So last year we started 10 seconds behind and it's almost impossible to gain 10 seconds through the course of the season when you pack up your equipment on Friday and you drive and you race and then you come home and you unpack it because you lose so much time in transition. I think that's what we're hoping for. We've trained, um, I would say that um, being three weeks off the water has definitely affected our ability to have and work on technique, um, but it also creates a lot of really good mental toughness and we've, we've talked about how important that's going to be. Uh, University of Central Oklahoma has moved to the West region. There's five very fast crews in that region and you know, not everybody gets to move forward. So if, if we want to, to do anything this year, uh, post-championship play, then it, it depends on how well we do on Saturday. I apologize. Uh, you know, we all have it. Uh, anything else you'd like to add before I uh, fall over here? No. No, we're just really excited. Finally, you know, so late in the year uh, to finally be here and starting, and it's just going to go by really fast. So I know that the the ladies are really excited. All right, sounds good. Thanks. Thank guys. you. Hey.